Why is gold expensive? Because it's rare. And other rare materials are expensive. But there is a metal that's very rare. Actually, the most rare metal on earth. Iridium, which is known as IR on the table of elements. Iridium is extremely dense compared to other metal. There is only one metal that's more dense than Iridium, and that's Osmium. And the differences in the density is so low, that you really can't detect it without a proper scale. If you want to melt Iridium, you have to heat it up to 2446 centigrade. Do you see this metal rod? It's pure Iridium and it weighs around 3.5 kilograms. To get this much Iridium, you have to process over 700,000 tons of ore to get this much Iridium. And that is exactly why this is the rarest metal on Earth. So what is this rare and extremely expensive metal used for? We use this metal because of its strength and its high melting point. The high melting point allows us to use this for a crucible. Crucibles that need to be at a temperature of 2000 degrees Celsius or higher. This is a thin sheet of iridium, but as you can see, you cannot bend this by hand. But if you grab a piece like this that's made out of steel, you could easily bend it. And that is why when they want to bend iridium, they use very strong presses and machines to do the job. If you want to enter a factory that works on iridium, they pat you down like you're going to the airport. And they make sure you don't bring any metals inside or steal any on the way out. And as you know, it's because it's one of the most expensive metals. So when was this metal found and where was it found? In the year of 1748, this metal was found by Spanish explorers in Colombia. But after 50 years, they didn't realize that this is a valuable and rare metal. And that's when we get to 1803, where Smithson Tennant, an English chemist, figures this metal out. And he realizes this is a very dense, high strength metal. When Smithson was working on this metal, he realized when he mixes it with different substances, it gives off rainbow colors. And that is why he named it Iridium. And that comes from Iris, goddess of rainbows. Another place where Iridium used that we know of is in the spark plug of our car. It's not like the whole spark plug is Iridium. It's just that tiny tip that gives the spark. Don't go collecting spark plugs because it's only a small piece of iridium on there. You could see the tip of the iridium, and it looks like this when it's not inside the spark plug, and each of them goes to the tip of a spark plug. Not every spark plug has iridium, but the high quality ones that last a long time do. And obviously, since it has iridium, it's a lot more expensive than the ordinary ones. Just like we said on Earth, Iridium is a very rare metal. But outside of Earth, this is not the case. There's a lot of asteroids that contain Iridium. And that is why billionaires want to start asteroid mining. And the good thing to know is, we've made a video about it. And we named it, the first trillionaire ever. Some say if you go get that much precious metal, you're gonna flood the market and crash the price. That is true, if it's flooded, the price drops. But the ones that get into this job know what they're doing and they're not gonna crash the price. I don't wanna self-promote too much, but it's good to know that our video about diamonds explains this very well. In this video, you could tell how businessmen control the price of diamonds and how they keep it so high. And you get to know a lot more about diamonds' dirty history. It's good to know that in the year 1980, Luis Walter Alvarez realized that the asteroid that made the dinosaurs go extinct 
had a lot of iridium in it, and when it made an impact, it spread a lot of that iridium all around it. But obviously, it wasn't the iridium that killed the dinosaurs. It was the impact and the aftermath that killed the dinosaurs. Where else is iridium used? Some high quality fountain pens have a iridium tip and that makes it last a long time and not break. Iridium is also used in jewelry. They use the metal in sensitive areas where a strong metal is needed. Jewelries like earrings, necklace, and bracelets. Other things are made with iridium as well, like wedding rings, that is made out of pure iridium. And depending on the quality, it could go as high as $4,000 for each. It's really expensive. We said why. But the main reason is that, with today's technology, factories are only able to produce about 3 tons of iridium every year. But for gold, the yearly production is about 3,000 tons. So the gold production is 1,000 times of iridium. It's only since 2010 where you see iridium used in jewelry. Because before that, you would not find iridium in rings, watches, and other stuff. But people realized that this is a very rare metal, so they accepted it in the jewelry market. Nowadays, some of the back watches are made from iridium, a very thin sheet of iridium that's very strong, and it proudly says iridium on it. Another place this metal is used, it's in wires that need to hold a lot of temperature and they can't easily burn out. The price of iridium right now is about $6,100 per ounce. The price of gold right about now is about $1,842 per ounce. The way it seems, iridium costs three times as much as gold. Another reason asteroids that are found are worth a lot of money is because of these rare precious metals. In the beginning we said, iridium is not the most dense metal, that's osmium. It's dense, it's expensive, but not like iridium. Osmium is about $400 per ounce, but we're gonna make a video about that later because we promise we're gonna make a video about all the cool things on the table of elements. 